Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Trina and Spencer kissed in bed, is a child on the way. Fans of General Hospital should be prepared for the unexpected in Port Charles, according to the show. Spencer Cassidine, who is seeing Trina Robinson, isn't giving her his complete attention because he's still devoted to helping Esme Prince Avery Pohl and Ace Cassidine raise their little son. Considering that Ace is merely his younger brother, his devotion to Ace is extraordinary. Anyone would wonder how devoted Spencer would be to a child of his own in light of this. Spencer Cassidine and Trina Robinson in General Hospital take the next step. According to G.H., Trina and Spencer will advance their romance, possibly leading to some form of intimacy. Hospital in General Connor and Spencer get some sleep. A pregnancy storyline is calming fans of Sprina have been anticipating this for so long. The majority of GH fans will undoubtedly be pleased about this occasion. No matter whether a couple is in a committed relationship, having an affair, or just having a one-night stand, spectators can't help but wonder if they are expecting. Although Spence and Trina are no longer teenagers, they are also not quite prepared to become parents. But if anything can be inferred from Spencer's dedication to Ace and his co-parenting duties with Esme, he's up for the task and would be a great father. Nicholas Cassadine's Factor G8 Esme's obvious affections for Spence are returning, and she appears to be using Ace and their co-parenting arrangement to keep Cassadine away from Trina, which only serves to complicate matters further. If and when Trina announced she was pregnant, just think how surprised she would be. There is also Nicholas Cassadine to take into account. He is Ace's biological father, so when he returns to town, he will undoubtedly want to make up for lost time with the child. He won't want to edge Spence out of the baby's life, but he could want to be more involved with Ace and relieve Spence of certain responsibilities in the process. The most popular stories this week feature unbridled passions, risky relationships, and significant changes. All four of the daytime soap operas are currently featuring major developments, particularly in light of last week's events. If you missed it, Days of Our Lives shocked us with news of Victor's estate. Bold and beautiful, let Sheila push Steffi right off the canvas, General Hospital finally gave a tortured heroine a break, and the young and the restless let Victor do what he does best pull the rug out from under everyone. Yet, that was back then. What will happen next is what we're here to talk about. Continue reading to learn about the most popular stories of the upcoming week. You might believe Sasha and Cody from General Hospital are safe after their dramatic escape from Ferncliff last week. After all, he was able to rescue her from the terrible Dr. Montague, so everything ought to be rum balls and honey now, right? Sasha is saved by Cody G.H. More. The sunny twist of all twists. Wrong. Sasha is no longer under the doctor's control, but she still has a lot of medicines in her system, which means she must go through withdrawal. Even though Montague deserved what he received, what Cody did wasn't exactly lawful. Cody may pay a heavy price for coming to Sasha's rescue because of his numerous legal run-ins, both before and after landing in Port Charles. Visit Spencer G.H. Trina. Look for Trina to finally express to her boo Spencer how she truly feels about the time he has been spending with Esmond in other scenes. Does she realize how hard he is fighting to keep Brother A safe? Yup. On the other hand, he's in a tough spot. Will his romantic act allow Trina to know that she still has the top spot in his heart? More, the anticipated event for Sprena lovers. There is a new sheriff in town, and she is not holding back when it comes to the young and the restless. That's right, Nikki, who was recently promoted by her husband Victor, is kicking and name-calling. She had already attacked Kyle and told Audra to throw the himbo. Next on her list was Nate, whom she obviously doesn't trust with her family's business or her daughter's heart is under her very, very strict watch. 
Does anyone else find it odd that only the typically astute Victoria is blind to the fact that her bedmate slash beau is a complete snake? Victoria, Nikki, Nate, Lee, and R. Also on Nikki's radar is Adam. Sure, Victor tends to waffle when it comes to his frequently misguided, to put it mildly, son, but Nikki long ago removed her own rose-colored glasses to take a good, hard look at Adam. Watch for Victor's son and the matriarch of the clan to have a salvation encounter. Will her choice to effectively warn him nearly increase Adam's determination to see the Newmans punished for what he believes to be their transgressions against him? More information about Victor's most recent power play. Although Victor Kyriakis burial left us in a pool of emotions, Days of Our Lives realizes there is still a lot more to say about the character. Yes, Vivian revealed that she is, supposedly, the deceased patriarch's widow, and, hence, his sole heir. But that's only where the narrative starts. Alex is explaining to someone off-screen while holding his hand to his chest. Brady furrows his brow and casts a sidelong glance. Alex and Brady will start their investigation into Victor's death's mystery the following week. Where was he throughout those days that are missing? How did he get there? Theresa will undoubtedly be pushing her nose where it doesn't belong because she is all in on Brady, whether he wants her to be or not. Be on the lookout for a breathtaking revelation in Greece to cap it all off. More. Vivian is prepared to handle everything. Finally, even though Thomas and Hope's bold and beautiful romance has recently developed largely behind the scenes, they will take center stage this week. Hope recently admitted to the main designer of her brand that she wasn't necessarily in love with him, but she still gave him a passionate kiss after that. As Hope makes her intentions obvious, as if there were any doubt, and then demonstrates that she could totally add seduction under special skills on her CV. Thope fans will get more of their favorite couple this week, while the dues detractors will have to turn away from the screen. Events, confessions, and advice from Maine. Spoilers and news for General Hospitals Friday. September 8 episode hint at happenings in Maine. Guilty admissions and wise counsel. As he gets set to perform, Eddie Maine, Wally Kurth, is in his element, Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy. Here's a confession and Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watrose, receives sound advice. Spoilers for General Hospital. Events in Maine. When Eddie approaches Leo Quartermain, Easton Rocket Switta, with a guitar, Leo responds enthusiastically, yeah. The two are chatting while Livia Quartermain, Lisa Lo Cicero, watches from a nearby wall covered in gold records. It appears that a main event is about to begin, and Leo will take part in it as well. Though Olivia, Wally Kurth, may not have her husband Ned Quartermain back, she is starting to accept his Eddie Main persona. Bringing these three together appears to be a very significant occurrence. Kobe Bell has a revelation in GH. Josh Kelly calls out the hazardous doctor Damon Montague, Darren Tunder, who has just entered Sasha Gilmore's, Sophia Matson, Ferncliff Room, and interrupted Cody Bell's, Josh Kelly, attempt to save her. After discovering Sasha almost unconscious but being able to rouse her up, Cody claims to know exactly what is happening. Sasha was still unable to distinguish between taking drugs and being drugged, but he had earned her trust and was prepared to free her. Montague's interruption couldn't have come at a worse time, and a fight between Cody and Montague will follow. Spoilers for General Hospital Guilty Confessions. Jocelyn observes as Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, confides in her and expresses regret about the imprisonment of Sonny Corinto's Maurice Bernard. How could he have been so negligent when it came to Sonny's freedom? He chastises himself. Everyone who knows Sonny is baffled as to how this sudden arrest could have occurred, and Dex's sole theory is that it was caused by the damaged video. Never considering that he might be watched. He had put it into a trash can in the open. Months may be attributed to the time it would take the FBI's Cyber Forensics Division to extract anything helpful from it. Spoilers for G8. Anna Devane's Apology. Portia Robinson. Brooke Kerr. Confronts Anna Devane. Finola Hughes. 
when she arrives at the Robinson Ashford residence. Portia worries that Anna may upset Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, or that an assassin may have followed her, so she asks her what made her think it was such a good idea to come. Although there is no proof Curtis was the sniper's target at the Metro Court, who is still at large, Portia doesn't care. She's probably concerned that someone who will complete the job is pursuing Anna. Anna will say sorry. For General Hospital, overprotection must end. Waffa's father, Marshall Ashford, Robert Gossett, is looking on skeptically. Curtis himself is in a wheelchair in the living room and says, You guys gotta stop doing this. Curtis is presumably referring to overprotection and coddling, though he might also be aware that Anna has been looking for him. Anna might have wished to give him an update on the case or offer an apology for what happened at Metro Court. Even though Curtis now owns a club, his detective instincts are still intact. He could wish to know the specifics or keep in mind something crucial. GA Spoilers Wise Counsel Ava Jerome, a judge at the Metro Court, gives Nina some sound counsel by urging her to confront reality. In actuality, Sunny, her fiance, is accused of breaking a federal security law and may not be able to defend himself. Having no idea how to handle the possibility of becoming a mafia wife, Nina had just freaked out in front of Carly Spencer at Kelly's, and Carly told her. Ava would probably emphasize that Nina cannot come out as weak because she is well-versed in all things gangster because she was raised in a gangster family. Spoilers for General Hospital Big Trouble in Little Ferncliff Regarding the major incident in Little Ferncliff, Montague is curious as to what the hell is happening in Sasha's room, where he chanced to see her with Cody. It couldn't have come at a worse time because Cody was attempting to save her and Montague had just gotten off the phone asking for a medication that would cause lifelong amnesia. Does Montague possess the aforementioned medication, and if so, will Cody be able to subdue him before giving it to both he and Sasha?